Hi, this is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, I want to show you how I'm creating a weekly newsletter using Craft, Things 3, Ulysses, and Ghost. Let's get started. I recently started a weekly newsletter, um, which is the Mike Weekly Creative Summary newsletter. Um, this is a newsletter uh, talking about everything I did in the past week. It's a it's a bunch of highlights of the things I created, and um, so what you see here is the first edition that I posted on September third. Um, so it is divided in different section: writing, photography, podcasting, Apple. So this is all these uh, subjects or areas where I'm, uh, I, I'm where I care uh, a lot. And um, also there is an exhibits section at the end where I share a few links to things that I think are worthwhile to, to uh, talk about. And um, so this is put together using Craft. Um, this is the actual web uh, Craft uh, document shared uh, on the web. And as you can see, there's the um, a nice table of content here where you can see all the section. And if somebody wants to go through this specific section, it's pretty easy to do. So this is a very nice. I like that a lot. And it is can be done uh, shown like that. And of course, people can comment on that using craft commenting feature. So this is the uh, the craft version, and I have also the the, the one hosted on Ghost. Uh, Ghost is a hosting service uh, similar to WordPress, um, but I think it's better. And so Ghost allows for hosting um, uh, blog posts and things like that, and also uh, have a newsletter built in too. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to leave WordPress behind and go on uh, go on uh, Ghost. Yeah. So this is how it looks on Ghost. It it looks quite differently, but uh, I like it a lot too. And you see the same content here and the exhibit section at the end, which is not collapsible compared to the version on Ghost, where you can collapse this section by default. It's it's not expanded. So the process start each Sunday, um, and for that I'm using uh, Things Things Three, which is a nice to do uh, task management software that I like a lot. And each Sunday, what I'm, I'll be doing is I'll be uh, duplicating a, a project template where I'll have all the tasks that need to be done in order to create this summary. And so this is the section here, and I have all the tasks that I'll need to, to complete. So at the end of the week of my creative week, which happens to be each Sunday, those tasks should be completed. So, and that's for the things portion, but what happens at the beginning of the process in craft? So I'm using a craft template, and I'm also uh, using the craft daily note uh, section feature so on a specific day what i'm going to do like on if i want to do that for the uh, let's say uh, the next uh, the first sunday of october what i'll do is i click uh, i'll uh, use the insert template and then i'll select the template i want to to insert in this so i'm going to uh, select this one here and then boom all the content is uh, inserted in this specific Sunday. Uh, and then the text here has been uh, created uh, using um, the Recast Lorem Ipsum uh, plugin, which allows me to create those fake paragraphs. And I, I do keep the styling in the uh, template because I want to remember exactly how I want these things to look um, in each section and also there's a placeholder for the weekly photo and at the end there's the uh, exhibit section that I need to uh, fill out as as I'm um, uh, working during the, um, the week and at the end here there is a mention about which version of the template has been used for this specific edition and I'm also uh, telling that I'm doing that on the MacBook Air the 15 inch MacBook Air so the, the starting process is very simple thanks to uh, craft templates. Um, 
and the templates can be seen here and by default i make sure that the spelling is disabled because otherwise all the the the, the text here would be underlined so as the week goes by i'm filling up each section depending on what i'm doing if i'm doing a podcast then I'll, I'll 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 do the podcast and then i'll go back in this and i'll write a highlight about why i did this podcast edition uh what i'm talking about in this episode and um if there was any hurdles or any problem or any challenges uh, i'll be talking uh, about this in the podcasting edition um, I'm a big fan of photography and I'm using pixel fed for that and I'm when I'm sharing things on pixel fed if there is something that stands out then I'll fill the photography section and at the end of the week the process is completed so what you're seeing here this is for September 10th so this is today uh, the newsletter is complete except one thing if I go back slowly at the very end there is a place, there's, there should be a place here where I'll need to remember to insert a link to the video that I'm currently recording in order to be able to put that in the YouTube section. So the next step after that, once the uh, newsletter is completed, is to use the shared menu here in order to transfer that to Ulysses. So it's very simple. And when I go in Ulysses, I'll go first here. I keep the previous edition uh, text on the right as a reference because I want to remember exactly how I, I put things together. But the uh, this week's edition will come on the on the left. So I'll go back to craft, and I'll be using the transfer Ulysses, and boom, I have the this week's edition now in. Ulysses. So it's, it's a very fast process, but as you can see, there is some cleanup to do in, in order to achieve the end uh, results that I'm uh, aiming for. So I'm going to do that in this the following section. You might see a few accelerated uh, section uh, in the video because it, it's some some of the uh, things are uh, tedious to to execute, uh, but you'll see how it goes to start is to use the, the the exact title here so i'll be copying that section and replace this here uh, this is what you're seeing here is the link to uh, the um, original document so i can uh, go there it will come back to um, uh, craft so i don't need that in the document so i'm going to to re remove that um and also i'll type here this portion here is going to be the ghost um uh head heading text that i will be um putting at the beginning of the newsletter i'll be also using this uh, images this image as a header image so i have first to download that i'll i'll do that later and then I'll use this um, um, as the uh, photo caption underneath. So this is going to uh, be removed. I'll remove a few unneeded paragraph marks because I don't need that. As you can see here, there's a few things that needs to be corrected uh, thanks to Grammarly. So here for uh, these images, I'm going to remove the, the text and use this captions field here to, <clears throat> in order to, um, to have a better caption using ghost. I'll remove that. So this is going to be rework in ghost. Uh, once the uh, text has been pushed to Ghost as a draft, um, so I'll make that while in the craft editor in the in the Ghost editor. Um, also, I'll do some check of grammar. So yeah, that's pretty much what I had to do using 
Grammarly. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So if I want to see how it might look, I can select that and see how it goes for, gives me an idea of how it will look once in Ghost. So we're getting closer. And you see that my uh, asterisks are looking bad. So I'll have to, to fix that also. Once I'll be on Ghost, there's some issue here too. I'll be, I'll need to fix that. Okay, so it's pretty much what I had to do. What I'll do is I'll go on Ghost here uh, on the craft and I'll download this image because I'll need to use it. I'll put that on the desktop and I'll need to use it as a header image. Go back here. So what I'm going to do is to push this text on Ghost and continue the work with the Ghost text editor before uh, hitting the uh, publish button here. I'll remove the image because I know that I won't be using that one, but I'll keep the text here. I made some change here to remove the spaces to make it look like it was the from the previous edition. Now I'm ready to uh, publish that. So this is going to be published as draft. So I can edit the, uh, the, the content with the um, ghost editor. Use the drag and drop like this. And I'll set the text after that. And this is the creative summary tag. And also I can use this text here, copy that in the excerpt, and then it will push that to ghost and then open the editor at the right place. So let's do that. It's a very fast process. Now I'm the ghost uh, editor, so I'm going to fix the caption here. I'll go back here and I'll select this, this text, which is the one that will become the, the caption. Boom. And also make sure this image, as since this is a header, it will be bigger once. If I do a preview, it should be bigger. Yeah, like this, I'll go back. In the editor, select that, replace. I don't know why the um, the asterisk emoji did not transfer. Yeah, here it's supposed to be a quote. So I'm going to um, I'm going to um, remove that. Okay, so here I'm going to use that as a as a callout. I'm using this blue uh, color because it's more in line with the branding of my general branding of the of my website. So I'll remove the extra spaces. I'm going to see here how it starts. Like this okay so for this portion here I know this is a, a link to a YouTube video so I, what I'm going to do I'm not going to go there I'll be uh, editing this in order to copy um, the link after that I'm going to paste it it will create a great uh, preview and then I'll remove that here and then also use this, remove that, and paste the caption here. And the last video being about Procreate Dreams, which is a new animation app for the iPad. So this is the final step everything looks fine by the way here at the end this is a logbook of everything that i've done during the week using things so as i'm checking off things out of the list you see everything that i did um so i'm very i'm not shy to share those things um 
so it looks to be good and also i'll make sure that the there is a um, this youtube section here a video i have to replace this link once this video will be completed and shared on uh, youtube next i have to make sure that this uh slug is is fine and it should be a slash creative summary for the week of 2023 weeks 36 and also the excerpt is there and also i'm going to do a final preview of this to see how it looks so it's pretty much the same as it expected as it should be and once i'm ready what i'm going to do is it publish here i'm going to send that uh to um on the web and to my uh, subscribers which are currently at more than 100 subscribers thanks to all my subscribers by the way and then i'll be able to do a final uh, review and then hit the publish i'll do that later today so it's very pretty much the process of putting this newsletter together so if i had to s summarize the process um i think the, the the starting point using things as a to-do management um, software is a, a great way to manage all the tasks we required or required to uh, produce this uh, newsletter uh, so i don't see much improvements um, there the use of craft basically is for putting all the basic uh, the building blocks of the newsletter together in a uh, orderly manner using the craft daily notes um, and for that i think um, the process is pretty straightforward and craft is really helping helping me to put this together uh, the exporting process to ulysses is also very efficient uh, I, I do have some final uh, spell checking and grammar checking in Ulysses to complete. And there's a few things that will that is brought over to Ulysses that I don't need, which requires me to uh, do some cleanup in Ulysses. I think the worst part is when I'm uh, pushing the, um, the content from Ulysses to, go, to Ghost. Uh, using Coast Editor, there's a lot of tedious things to do uh, in order to finalize the um, the newsletter. I don't see how I could uh, improve the process there because I don't have control of the of the um, Ghost Editor. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty satisfied. There's one thing that that I forgot to mention though is since I'm also sharing this document within Craft. Uh, I go I go here and then I just create uh, I, uh, enable the the sharing of this document and then I'll set the uh, path to this document like uh, like this so it's a pretty straightforward thing but if you remember I did some changes in Ulysses to uh, some uh, spell checking and grammar uh, changes that are not reflected in my craft document and this is a problem so what it means is that i have to do the, the maximum I, I can do from a grammar and spell checking perspective in order to have um, nothing to do in in ulysses after um, in that respect so i think it was a kind of a, something i forgot in the process but it, it says uh, a lesson learned uh, certainly that's it for this video i hope you liked it um, if you do have suggestion or uh, ways i could improve my workflow process uh, feel free to comment in uh, the comment below also i'll be sharing all the links that i'm uh, to the, the the apps that i'm using and the documents that i've been using for to produce this video so also if you like this video liked it if you don't subscribe to my youtube channel now it's the time to do so so thank you again for watching until the end thanks for being there and see you guys for another one soon bye